budget means more city money for the Overture Center, but is it enough to keep free programs alive? We'll break down the numbers for you tonight. Good evening, I'm Mark Hain, filling in for Jennifer Huff on this Saturday evening. Thanks for tuning in. After years of debate over overdue funding, it seems Madison and the center have struck a fiscal compromise, a significant increase from funding over the past few years. And some alders will still be fighting for more. News 3's Danica Lewis joining us now with a look at where the city money is going and just how much. Well, Mark, if you base it on what the center actually asked for this time around, Madison's mayor is still shortchanging the facility. But at a time when nearly all funding is on the chopping block, it's something, but maybe not enough to keep everything up at Overture. Do you feel like yes, yes, no? The Overture Center Kids Rotunda, packed with movers and groovers, a free performance Carrie Barr couldn't pass up. When you have three of them, it gets really expensive if you have to pay for parents, and then obviously there's a charge for you know, everybody in the family, so. Programs like this would be the first to be silenced if the Overture lost too much money. And I feel it would be a tragedy if the only people who could have that experience are people who could afford an $85 ticket. Madison Mayor Paul Soglin budgeted $1.45 million for Overture in the coming year, still $300,000 short of what the center asked for. We're not delusional. <laughs> We're not standing here with our hands out waiting for our big check. You know, we understand that everybody's, uh, everybody has to run lean and mean. I'm glad to see that we're much closer in terms of what Overture needs and uh, where the city's funding is, at least to start with. City Alder Mark Clear says some of council will try to squeeze more subsidy out of this budget to support Overture's free and reduced cost programs. He's just glad everyone seems content with the numbers, a welcome change from years past. They are happy not to have an epic battle this year, and I am too. Those battles have been extremely unproductive. They're bad for the city, they're bad for Overture, they're bad for its ability to do private fundraising. Even Barr is willing to open up her wallet to keep this kind of concert going. I'd be willing to pay something to come here just for stuff like this, too. I mean, it's great that it's free, but, you know, a little bit to help out would be fine with us, too. At this point, Overture's administration isn't sure what programs, if any, would have to be cut without the payment they requested from the city. The Board of Estimates will take up the budget Monday and Tuesday this week, the first of many meetings to make adjustments to any and all city spending laid out in that budget. But hopefully no battles. Hopefully. You can always cross your fingers, <laughs> but most of the time not.